Hey, it's Missy. Thank you for watching. For today's video, I wanted to share some more high-end hairstyles. These range anywhere from easy, medium, to a little bit more challenging. So let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite. Like and subscribe, click that notification bell, all the usual things, and let's get started. For this hairstyle, I need to divide my hair into two equal sections. So I'm going to first divide out a couple small pieces to frame my face, and then I'm going to create a zigzag part line. Starting at my forehead, I'm going to zigzag my comb along the center of the top of my head and then continue the part down the back of my head to split my hair into two sections. I want to be able to hide my part line, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Once the hair is divided up, I'm going to work with each section individually. So I'm going to start with the section on the right side, and I'm going to brush this hair up towards the crown of my head, where I want my bun to sit. I want to position the hair where I'll be placing my bun, so once the sides are all smoothed, I'm going to take an elastic band and tie this over the section of hair, keeping the hair as close to the center as I can. And on the last wrap of the elastic, I'm going to pull the hair partially through to create a loop in the hair. So now I'm going to repeat the same steps with the hair on the left side. So I'm going to brush all of my hair from the left side up towards the crown of my head and I want to position the hair as close to the other section of hair as I can. So once the sides are all smooth again, I'm going to take an elastic band and tie this over the hair. And again, on the last wrap of the elastic, I'm going to pull the hair partially through to create a loop. And then I'm going to take the loop on the left side and slide my thumb and pointer finger through the loop and then grab onto the looped section on the right side. So I'm going to pull this loop through the middle of the left loop. And once the right loop is pulled over to the left side, I'm going to lay them against my head and then pin them in place with bobby pins. And the trick here is to pin the hair wherever your fingers are holding it in place. I also made sure to slide the pins along the top of my head so they slid underneath the hair and didn't show anywhere. Pin the hair wherever your fingers are holding it in place. And then once that's all pinned down, I use my comb to gently comb up the back of my head to help hide that part line that I created at the beginning. So now with the two little ends that are sticking out under the bun, I'm just going to tie this into a knot. So crossing one side over the other and wrapping it around the section so it's pointed up on the opposite side. And then I'm just going to pin these pieces of hair underneath the bun using some more bobby pins. And then to finish off the style, I'm going to go back over the bun and just smooth down any pieces that are sticking up and pin down any loose hairs. For this hairstyle, I'm going to begin by dividing my hair into sections. So I'm going to divide off the top section of hair starting at my ears and going up to the crown of my head. Next I'm going to divide off two small 1 inch sections right behind both of my ears and I'm going to add this into the top section of hair. And then I'm just going to clip away this top section so I can use it later on. And now with the remaining hair at the back of my head, I'm going to brush all of this hair towards the right side. I'm creating a French twist style, so I need all of the hair on one side so I can create a base for the roll to pin into. So I'm going to take some bobby pins and slide these vertically along the back of my head, pinning the hair down so it stays brushed over towards the right side. And this will create a base for the rest of the hair to be pinned into. So I'm going to take some bobby pins and slide these vertically along the back of my head, pinning the hair down so it stays brushed over towards the right side. So now with the ends, I'm going to wrap these back over the back of my head towards the left side and smooth down the hair using a comb. I'm going to gently twist this section of hair so it's tucked underneath, twisting towards the right side so the hair is tucking back under itself. And I'm going to twist the hair starting at the nape of my neck and then working up towards the top of my head so the ends are left out of the twist. And then I'm going to pin the hair in place with bobby pins. 
So I'm going to grab a small section of hair with each bobby pin and then slide the pins into the twist towards the right side of my head. This will hide them underneath the hair. And I'm going to continue sliding in bobby pins until the section feels secured in place. And now I'm going to let down the top section of hair that I previously pinned up and I'm going to combine it with the ends from this twisted section. I'm going to use this hair to create a bun at the crown of my head sitting at the top of the twist. So I'm going to brush the hair back to where I want my bun to sit and then I'm going to wrap it with an elastic band. And on the last wrap of the elastic, I'm going to pull the hair only partially through to create a small loop with the hair. I want the ends of the hair to be going forwards towards my face so that I can create a certain type of bun. And then I'm going to take these ends and I'm going to gently back comb the hair just to create a little bit of volume. And then I'm going to lay this hair back over the little loop so the ends are hanging down towards the back of my head. And then I'm going to spread the hair out so it hides the small looped section. And I'm going to pin the hair in place underneath the elastic band right at the top of the twisted section. I wanted this style to have a French twist vibe, but as a high bun hairstyle. So let me know what you think of this look down below in the comment section. For this hairstyle, I'm going to begin by brushing all of my hair up into a high ponytail. I want my bun to sit at the crown of my head, so this is where I'm going to brush my hair up to. Then I'm going to take an elastic band and wrap it over the hair to combine it into a ponytail. Now using a clip from my store, Missy Sue Shop, I'm going to lift my ponytail up and place the open clip over the hair band. And then I'm going to carefully wrap the ponytail over the top of the clip and then tuck the ends up the left side of the clip. And I want to make sure to slip the ends inside the teeth of the clip. So I'm just double wrapping mine underneath. And then I'm going to let go of the claw clip so it clamps down over the hairband, over the ends of the ponytail against my head. And then I'm just going to carefully spread out the hair so it spreads out over the clip, forming the bun. Let me know what you think of this look down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comment section which of the three hairstyles was your favorite. Make sure to click the thumbs up if you like this video or the thumbs down if you didn't. Either way, it helps me out. Like and subscribe, click that notification bell, all the usual things, then you'll never miss any future videos. And I will see you next time.